Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un mostro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. What is she going to do with the extra cash? So, doing the math, we will only receive... Alright, here's how the game works. For every 20 minutes, 20 minutes in real life, that you play this game, you get a certain amount of money in this chest. The only problem is that 222 florins every 20 minutes is not that great. And that's how you make money in this game besides hunting treasure chests and stealing from people. Although stealing from people will be quite a bit of work. So let's talk to this guy. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? All right. He basically just explained everything about this whole economy deal. I highly suggest renovate, renovating the bank because out of all these renovations, the bank will get you more. Hmm. And uh, the shops, the tailor shop, the doctor, the blacksmith, if you improve them, you get discounts. Ha <laughs> ha. Isn't that just very awesome? I'm actually going to try something different. I'm going to try updating a bunch of shops at once instead of just renovating the bank right away. So let's open up the tailor. Oh, and some of these places, if you renovate some of these places, you can actually go into them and look for treasure chests, like the church. There are some treasure chests in the church and the mines. Yeah, I know there are some treasure chests in the mines and the well. Let's see here. Eh, let's just do the church. Eh, silent decision making. <laughs> <coughs> I really shouldn't do that stuff. And that's all the money I have. Now I only have 86 florins left. Buon viaggio! And that increases the value of the city. And 15,000, okay, I have, a, I have a feeling that I'm going to be making a lot of money soon, sort of. Now let's talk to Mario, again. Ezio, my boy, I think it's time I showed you something.
Whoa, a secret passage. Just like in Eternal Darkness, except that this one you don't have to set the clock. Okay, now, okay, you were running slower than me back in Tuscany, and now you're walking faster than me. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Yep, new armor. Uh, yeah. I will explain these this later. But unlocking Altair's armor. Altair's armor is probably the best armor that you can get in the game. You know how I explained that there's repairs in the shops? Yeah, your armor will get broken after a while. But when it comes to Altair's armor, you uh, you don't have to worry about that because his armor never breaks. Next destination is Florence. Uh, talk to the trainer. There are a couple special moves you can learn from the trainer, but I don't think I can learn them right now. Uh, I don't think I could repair stuff, but I'm gonna go to the to the tailor and get something. My knife belt upgrade. It's a free upgrade too. See, here's the thing. I I got a Ubisoft account and I signed up for UPlay, which allows me to carry more knives than I would normally be able to carry. Cause now I now I can carry 15, even though the ammo doesn't say that. But I can carry 15. Yeah. And I don't have the money to afford some stuff. And this is the fast travel station. It's, in other words, in a video game terms, it is a warp point. You pay money to warp to places so that you don't have to travel to them on your horse like this. Mm-hmm. That's how it works. Yes, let's go to Florence. I gotta be careful when I say Florence and Florence. It's Florines.